working at a company where, where the chief executive officer really understands marketing is not a common thing. And that is where mostly you'll see the, the great creative stuff coming out from, or a CEO who just trusts their marketers that they know more than, than he or she does. Because I think companies that end up doing boring marketing, it's where the CEO doesn't understand, doesn't care, doesn't value, and doesn't resource marketing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's it's fascinating because I mean you guys do some amazing stuff. The Super Bowl ad obviously is one of those just one of those things. Um and like you said, it, it's definitely not common to have a CEO coming from a marketing background, it's usually finance or operations or really one sales. of those two for the most part. Sales sometimes right. too, yeah. Yeah. Um, you need that support to to, to achieve greatness. Do you, I'm, I mean this is more theoretical, but I'm wondering, do you think if you didn't have a CEO like him? Uh, present, do you think you would have been able to get this across the, forget across the finish line, but across the, <clears throat> across the boardroom? I, I think it depends. I'll, I'll give you an example of a different scenario I was in and that, that we still achieved wonderful marketing. So the previous company where Amit and I worked together for, he was the CMO, I was the VP of marketing. And this was a company called Panaya. It was sold a few years ago uh, to uh, Infosys. And our CEO there, uh, Yossi Cohen, he had a very smart approach to building areas of the company that he did not know enough about. Mm. Yossi was an engineer and brilliant computer scientist, but he knew very little about sales and marketing when he started the company. So he went out there and did what many people know is the best advice, but very few people actually take it, which is go hire someone who's much better than you at these things and then let them show you how to do that. So he went out and hired a VP of uh, sales and he went out and hired Amit as his chief marketing officer because he'd heard great things about Amit uh, from other companies. And he let Amit do great marketing and Amit brought me as his right hand and we together did great marketing. So that was a very different approach where the CEO admittedly knew close to nothing about marketing, but he brought great people and then he got out of their way. And I think that's a great combination to admit that you know not enough about a certain area to do it well, bring someone who doesn't get out of their way, give them the resources, give them some rope to, to experiment and get creative, get out of their way and, and watch the results. But you can't bring someone to do something you don't know how to do, but still pretend that you do and tell them how to do it or don't resource it enough because you're not gonna get anywhere that way.